So the face check is uh, definitely one of the most important parts of a freeride competition. Since we don't get to ski the venue beforehand, it's all about your ability to interpret the snow and the steepness and the size and the best path down. So when we arrive at the top, we have to have our line totally memorized and perfect in our heads. And we do that by doing a really thorough face check. There's a process we always go through. We always come up with our binoculars in our backpacks, digital cameras, and uh, we find the best vantage point possible, typically where the judges are sitting, and spend some time just looking the face over, getting pictures of every square inch possible, and then figuring out from there which, which is the best route for you. When I'm choosing a line, the very first thing, uh, it seems obvious, but sometimes you forget, is the finish line and the starting line. And uh, you go kind of from there visually with your eye and you want to follow the run down and include as many nice features as possible on the way. The judge's viewpoint makes a huge difference on the line that I choose. You want to look at what the judges can see um, and that helps you determine like which angle to take certain jumps, which place to, to place important turns, and just really making sure that you're always in their sight. Mentally visualizing what you're gonna do is huge, a huge part of this. You, you'll see something that looks great and you kind of play it over in your head. And uh, you do that a few times kind of as you're inspecting. And then once you know where you wanna go, then you really start to repeat that over and over in your head until, until you can close your eyes and kind of see the entire run play over like a video without, without having done it yet. So for, for new free riders, young kids that are getting into this sport, Choosing your line, just it's a skill you develop skiing every day at your home resort. I remember when I was little, you just maybe look at something on your chairlift up, you pick it out and then you try to duplicate it on your way back down. It starts there and it goes on to bigger mountains when you start to ski off piste and pick a mountain across a valley and just ski that run just as you visualized it. And so it's something that I think people who are interested in freeride can be practicing every time they go out skiing. Is, looking at the mountains and interpreting what you're going to find when you actually get there.